What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Del from Inky Quill, and today I've got a really simple Project Life style video uh, for my wedding album for today. And I kind of wanted to show you how quick and easy it can be to put together your wedding album using pocket pages. I found that it really did help, especially with photos that aren't. I guess you'd say the focal point. I found it a lot easier to use the pocket pages for um, photos that weren't maybe as prominent in our wedding story, I guess you could say, uh, and then save the pocket pages for either photos that were very similar or for photos of that weren't just my, I didn't want as a focal image. So in my massive six wedding albums, yep, if you're a new subscriber, you heard that right, six wedding albums, which is ridiculous, I know. Uh, I have a combination of 12 by 12 layouts, smaller layouts, I have pocket pages, some of my layouts are 6 by 12, uh, 8 by 8, 8.5 by 11, 9 by 12, and 12 by 12. There's lots of different sizes in there. And I really enjoyed using the pocket pages, especially ones like this that I don't I didn't typically use in my 12 by 12 project life scrapbooking when I did this size. I, I think these page protectors that have all of the uh, four by sixes are really handy if you're undertaking an album like this or a travel album or a holiday album or an album that has a specific story or a specific purpose. Uh, that was really handy because I was able to include a whole lot of photos with with not needing a, a ton of embellishing. So in this page in particular, I do only do these two filler cards. And the reason why I did that is because I felt like these photos didn't really need extra embellishing. Because the photos are all so similar, it's nice to sometimes leave them as is. I know if you're like me and you do like to throw down an embellishment, or two or five or 10,000, then it sometimes is hard to restrain yourself from putting on all of the embellishments. But if you include these designated filler cards, as I call them, uh, then you are less tempted to want to embellish every single photo and therefore take a million years to finish your completed album, which I think was my problem when I first started this album. I'm using a few little uh, puffy words or they're, they're, are they puffy? No, they're foam, they're foam words. And just to, to, to remember this little moment, uh, Aaron actually dropped the ring, which is the most stereotypical thing that you could possibly do wrong, not wrong, but that could stuff up during the ceremony. Uh, so he did drop the ring and so we all had a great laugh about that. Luckily, he found it in the grass after a little bit and we continued with the ceremony and ended up getting married and all was good. Uh, but it was just, I thought this Happy Giggles was just the perfect, ba a kind of like a mini title for this page. I, Because all of these photos are so similar, taken at different angles, different moments before the drop, after the drop of the ring. Uh, I think that I see this page more as a layout rather than the separate pockets in the pocket page, if that makes sense. So I'm just going through and I'm using all sorts of different pieces. I use some stickers from uh, an American Craft sticker book. I've got some of my tiny word stickers from my Patreon printables for February. And I'm just making some fun happy filler cards to match the moment. This card with the little wreathy leaf bits on it is from the Southern Weddings uh, Project Life kit, which was very handy in making this album. If you've watched any of the other videos, you would have seen me using a lot of cards from this kit. And I have, so over here on YouTube, I have a couple of pocket page process videos for the wedding album. And I also have quite a lot of layouts from 2015, 2016, I think. I did take a big break from the wedding album because I got a little, not overwhelmed, I got a bit 
tired of the photos that I was using and I needed to change it up. So I don't think I did any of the wedding album in 2017, I don't think, but there's quite a few process videos over here and then uh, I have monthly flip throughs on Patreon. Time for some Heidi Shine. Shake, 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 shake your Heidi Shine. Oh, where'd the Heidi Shine go? Oh, it must be coming back. Don't worry. I think I decided to do my journaling first because knowing my luck, I'd get Heidi Shine all over where I wanted to put my journaling. I'd really love to hear how you guys have uh, documented your wedding if you are married and how you went about it because looking back I, I'm, I really love the way that I put this all together but I would probably do a few things differently so if you are looking to document a large event or um, maybe a specific album so it could be a travel album or maybe an album for one of your kids or an album about your pets anything really a couple of things that I found useful were using the pocket pages I can't stress enough how much easier it made it that everything didn't have to be a layout I also think that it was actually handy to have a group of pocket page cards the southern weddings one that I could reach for if I needed something I did go ahead in advance and put uh, pocket page cards in the the empty holes if that makes sense so that when I wanted to scrap all of the photos were already in the page protectors and the uh, project life cards were in there as well so I could just grab a page and go and only worry about the embellishing part of it so I found that very useful something that I would change is that next time I would probably actually put together a small kit of supplies to help me not get overwhelmed by my entire craft stash uh, I think it may also be useful to maybe not print every single photo from the event or if I was to print them all maybe have some just in uh, the plastic project life pockets so not actually on show but just kind of stored in the pockets so that I didn't end up with six albums and the last thing is that I can't recommend enough is try and make your layouts flat when I didn't actually start doing traditional uh, 12 by 12 layouts until the basically the start of 2016 and when I first started, I used some chunky embellishments. I had resin flowers. I had big puffy florals. I had um, chipboard upon chipboard upon chipboard. So layered on top of each other. And it means that some of the albums, uh, especially some of the later albums like the dancing one, I think it only has about 12 pages in it or 12 plastic page protectors so 24 layouts which isn't a lot might even have less than that but because the layouts are so chunky it took up a lot of room so they're my tips and tricks if you're taking on a and a big album project like this um, but overall I can't wait until it's all finished this is almost done my my patrons would have seen a sneak of this page when I did the album flip through for this album which is number two back in March and I think I think I'm almost done I seem to have two pages that are missing layouts and I can't work out what photos are missing I think I've used them as presents for family members so I've got to try and find out what photos are missing and remake those layouts but I think that's all I have left in the mammoth wedding saga um, but this was just a really nice layout to just stick and plonk just pop some things down I hope I've been able to give you some tips and tricks if you're going to undertake something a project like this I actually have my honeymoon album which is probably a third of the way done but I've got to go back and reprint photos because I printed them on my home printer and they are shocking the quality is just horrendous 
So that's going to be my next project once the wedding albums are done um, and I can move on to a new album project. But the jazz hands are here, so that means I'm all finished. I know it was a quick and easy one today, but I hope I was able to give you a few tips and tricks for um, accomplishing and finishing a whole album project for you guys at home. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching my wedding process videos and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.